Alright guys, for my first gear video, I am going to be doing my Vietnam reenacting gear. Now this is just the gear, equipment, weapons kind of oriented video. I want to do uniforms in a separate video because I really do not have the space to have all my gear laid out at one time. So, there's that. And we can start up here. We got flak jacket, which... I do Marine Corps for Vietnam, and I know some of you may be looking at this gear. You're seeing M56 gear, you're seeing some army oriented equipment. Well, let me just point you out the M56 equipment is documented for our unit, which is Kilo 37, K Company, 3rd Battalion, 7th Marine Regiment, 1st Marine Division. Um, we do have documented in photos that later in the war, they were issued M56 gear. As for the M69 flak jackets, we have no proof of that, which I'm pretty sure most, if not all, Marines never had uh, these kind of flak jackets. Most of them had the M55s till the end of the war. Um, but I could be wrong. There could be a few Marine units out there that did use these during Vietnam, but I really I have not figured that out yet. But this is the one I use for now until I can secure an M55 flak for myself. But this one is a later version of it because it has the Velcro here. Um, the earlier ones had the zipper and the snap closure, which a friend of mine who is in the unit has an M69 flak also, and it's the earlier version. This one... It, yeah, see, I'm blocking the light here. Yeah, so you can see the stamping here. It, this one is dated... 1974. So this is this was made virtually at the end of the war. I doubt it saw much action because it's in pretty good condition, aside from some repairs here. You can see here uh, and all on the back, which I put my own graffiti on it, which I saw in a picture of the back of a marine on his flak jacket, which some of you Vietnam nuts might know the picture I'm talking about. Caution, being a Marine, caisson may be hazardous to your health. Newsweek. Um, but there's a lot of repairs on the back here. So I'm thinking at one time or another, this jacket did get some shrapnel in it or some kind of material because there's a lot of, there seem to be a lot of holes in the back of it at one time or another. But it's pretty good, and I usually just wear this around the base. I don't wear it when we're out in the bush or anything. But it's pretty good. Helmet. This helmet is front seam, or no, I'm sorry, rear seam, uh, rear seam helmet with Mitchell pattern cover. You got the Marine Corps inner tube helmet band, and I got a little bug juice bottle here. Uh, original, it's new old stock. This one's December '66. Uh, pretty nice. Just got this recently. I don't know if I'll use any of the bug juice in it, just because. I may or may not be able to refill it. I really don't know. Um, haven't figured that out yet. Got a little graffiti on here. War as hell on the back chin strap. And this, well, it may be kind of funny to those of you out there who are going to be watching this. I don't know if it will because this is kind of an inside joke where you don't really understand it unless you were in my unit. But... Most guys here are looking for Charlie. I'm looking for Jay. If you see him, tell him Kilo Company's coming to break his legs, then kill him when he's dead. So it's kind of an inside joke, but I wrote that on there because I thought it would be funny. So yeah. And moving over here, I'm kind of going to skirt around different crap here. Really packed in. Flashlight. I know this is not Vietnam Air because it has these side plastic things on it, and Vietnam War ones did not, but it works, literally. It works literally and figuratively. Um, this is, I think, from the 80s, so the color's a lot more OD than the modern ones you can buy at uh, Army Barrack stores, which are kind of like a darker green, but I like this one. It has the extra lenses, extra light bulb, and I just went with the usual red red lens just because that's what everybody does and I think it looks 
I don't know. It's kind of a classic look for that flashlight anyway. 556 M16 Bandolier. This one is falling to shit. It is, it is absolute crap. There's holes all in it. I want to try and get a new one soon. But it still holds what I need it to hold. And actually, right now, there's just wood blocks in this because I do not have many magazines to stuff in there. But we'll get to get late. We'll get to that later. A little tongue-tied here. Next, got the web gear. This is the M56 web gear. I already said that. We got eight suspenders, which not sure when these are dated because the date's pretty warm. On most of my stuff, the dates are pretty much gone because the gear is just so worn down. Um, yeah, I'm looking here. And I'm not seeing, I mean, you can see model 1956, but I really can't tell. Actually, I think they might be, nah, never mind. Um, first aid pouch with a, ah, try to do this without putting the camera down, ah, but I can't, so hold on. Um, which has the World War II era Carlisle bandage in there, which I've actually put real medical supplies in here in case of a, you know, accident. Someone spills some real blood and that kind of thing. It's a band in here, some alcoholic pads, yada yada. This pouch, oh, I forget what I determined it was dated. It's really dark and kind of difficult to read. I think it was like 62 or something like that. And we got another one over here, which I use as a compass pouch to keep my totally awesome Vietnam War compass in it. This one's dated 1969. It's pretty cool. Functions and everything. The wire in there is nice and tight. It wasn't when I got it, but I had a friend tighten it up for me. Um, so... Yep, everything works. It's an awesome compass. Probably one of the most heavy-duty, um, solid <laughs> compasses I have ever held or used. Um, I have not put it to the real test yet, because right now we're in the off-season. Uh, Nom-season for us doesn't really start until May. Right now it's only January. So I'll have yet to put that to the test this coming season. So that should be fun. Um, M56 pouches, this one's a later war one because we have the grommet in the tab here, which were put in after the early war ones, where the tabs were just canvas and would swell up in the jungle heat. So, and also they added in the, the steel plates in it. This one, again, you can't really read clearly the stamping in there, but I don't really care that much. Because it's in good condition, and it's my gear's nice and worn down. Not like I mean I beat the hell out of my gear for any time period anyway. But there's that. I got two canteens. This one's dated 1969, right there. And then M56 cover, which again dates are unknown because they're so faded. And this canteen, I believe, yeah, there's still water in them is dated, yep, 1966. And in here, there's also the, the canteen cup, which I do not think is Vietnam War era. I think it's a little more modern one, like from the 80s or something, but it works. We got two real M16 magazines here, 20 round. Um, I got them just because, you know, even though we're mainly just have airsoft weapons at this time because we spent a lot of gear money on gear and stuff but we're all working up to getting blank firing weapons um, so that'll be good these will be good for when I get my blank firing M16 bayonet which it is not I know it's not an M16 bayonet I have no idea what it goes to if anybody has any clue what this goes to I'd love to know and a friend of mine I'm sure would also be very curious to know because we have the same bayonets and we have no idea what they go to. But they look good. They go good with the stuff. 
and it seems like it is it like it might be Vietnam War era whether it's American or what but it works um, butt pack M61 butt pack with the grommets here for attaching um, machetes extra canteens whatever you want a couple Alice clips here my name tag up here I'm a sergeant in my unit this year. Just got promoted. Sergeant Regan, Tyler. Serial number, 7th Marine Regiment, 1st Marine Division. Put that on like cardstock and I slid it in the little window there. Works pretty good. The gooseneck in this butt pack is really good. It's really good quality. There's no holes in it. And the rubber, uh, rubber, the rubber is not coming off the material very much except for in a sp few spots. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, other M56 pouch. 45 holster, black, which just has a crappy little airsoft gun in there. Um, I'm working on getting a blank firing 45, hopefully sometime this year. And then that'll replace the airsoft one and go in there. And it's all on an M56 pistol belt. So that's good.